there is nanotails okay now nanotails are basically something around 6 to 12 words okay and now these are the uh, these are the types of stories which are very very popular on your social media okay because only 6 to 12 words are there people create a full story okay now these stories can be in the form of sentences these stories can also be in the form of poems also okay so these are known as nanotales here there is no scope to talk about the uh, you know the scenarios or the characters as such okay but these stories these tales they have a very very deep meaning okay these are called as your nanotales these tales they provide food for thought if you are if you read these nanotales these provide food for thought and some reasons to contemplate and they also give you different types of feelings okay like you are you feel sad you feel happy you you, are, you want to cry okay so these are the different types of feelings they basically invoke feelings in the reader's mind okay so now for example wireless keyboard wireless mouse even computer didn't like attachments okay that is something related to that human uh, humans should not be attached to their materialistic uh, requirements okay they should they should talk about detachment okay so what they are trying to say wireless keyboard wireless mouse even computer didn't like attachments okay faith doesn't ask questions it knows now if you are a person who is asking questions to your faith faith okay you you are not that means you are not very much uh, say you you what should I, you you don't uh, believe in your faith that is what it is trying to say okay now the words 1 2 3 4 5 6 six words 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 to 10 words here Okay, these are called as your nanotales. Now you have drabble. Drabble are basically exactly 100 words. Okay, now there is a variation. You have double drabble, double drabble are double means 100 ka double. Okay, so that is 200 words. You have dribble. Dribble is basically half of a drabble. So that is around 50 to 55 words. Okay, then you have pentadrabble. Pentadrabble is penta means five, so 500 words. You have travel, T, okay, triple. So T is your 300 words. Okay, here you can talk about any type of story. Okay, so you have got good amount of words. So usually a drabble is 100 words. So 100 words, you can discuss about your characters also. You can give them uh, life also. You can talk about the obstacles and then finally how they overcome that obstacle. Okay, so you can talk about that, not a problem. Okay, then you have short stories. Short story stories are said, say anything anywhere between your uh, um, this your uh, 10,000 to 1500, 15,000 words. Okay, usually the short stories length, okay, are usually 1000 to 1500 to 2000 word sorry 500 to 1500 to 2000 word okay nowadays people have started now because if you remember uh, a collection of short stories those type of books are there okay so they are usually 1500 uh, 500 to 2000 words but now people have started creating only one very very you know thin book Okay, those are your short stories. Now, those short stories can be 1000 to 7500 words also. Okay, people who are creating uh, uh, stories from 10,000 to 15,000 words also, they come under the category of short story, but are, to, are not exactly the short stories. Okay, these becomes a medium novels. Okay, but they come under short stories because now many variations are there. Based on the type of stories that people create, these type of variations have started coming. Okay, so these pages are usually around 10 to 25 pages and they become a very thin type of book. Okay, um, if you have uh, read that book Tuesdays with Morris. Okay, that book is, I think, something around 100 pages. Okay, so those 100 pages, 150 pages, they become your novels. 
okay mills and boons also these are your novels uh, your uh, uh, books by amish tripathi uh, then chitra banerji uh, john grisham sydney sheldon um, khalid husseini uh, then you have um, uh, this chetan bhagat okay so these all books are known as novels okay because they are uh, thick books okay they have something around um, uh, uh, words like around 50000 to 1 lakh or more than that okay so that is what is your example now the examples for this is the tell tale heart edgar allan poe is basically a very very famous personality in the world of literature he is a writer he is a author and he is a poet also okay his poem edgar's poem uh, annabel lee okay is a very famous poem we will use it when we will be discussing about poems okay a very nice poem the way that the author has used different types of feelings in the poem is amazing okay uh, then the necklace i don't know about i have not read it the yellow wall paper is there it is again a very very good uh, uh, story by sherlock then your story of an hour i'm not sure and the gift of maggie also i'm not very sure okay i've only read two of these books okay so that is what uh, these are uh, these are short stories around uh, 30 35 40 pages sometimes 50 pages also okay so these are known as short stories but initially the short stories were supposed to be anywhere from 500 to 2000 words okay so is when there is a collection of st short stories so you have two to three pages or four or five pages till five pages you have one story or less than that maybe okay so that is what from 500 to 2000 words now there are different variations are there so you your words have started coming to 10000 to 1500 words somewhere starting from 7500 to 15000 words also okay so these these are called as medium novels okay clear for everyone now you have novella so that is what let us work on the difference between novella or novels okay now when we talk about um, uh, novella novella is basically something around 20 to 40000 words okay uh, also now it is not compulsory to keep the words till 40000 okay people increase they that is what i told you that novel that i'm talking about that girls novel which was in civil war that is a very very thick book okay so there is no word limit as such but yes people do write it between 20 to 40000 words but there are many writers many famous writers shakespeare's novels also they were called quite few of them were novella also um odyssey is there okay that was basically a novella okay now in that uh, it was a very thick book okay so it is not something always it needs to be 20 to 40 but yes the uh, the limit is usually 20 to 40000 words okay now your um, novel again it it is something around uh, on a, an an ideal novel should be something around 40000 to 80000 words okay but it is not compulsory many novels you might have read which are very very thick books which have lots of words lots of pages also okay 500 pages also if you have read uh, these uh, harry potter series the last novel was basically more than that more than 200 words of something around you know 700 word uh, pages i think okay so that is what you can work on the uh, word limit also you can increase the word limit or you can decrease the word limit no, no, not a problem okay whenever the the story line becomes quite complex wherever you are talking more about different types of characters you are giving lots of twist and turns maybe there are different situations there so it becomes a novel okay novel is basically only talking about one person okay one person or maybe one or two around them but not much okay so that is basically your novella okay so i think they have given um uh, for novella i think this is metamorphosis no i have not read this book so i cannot tell you i somehow want to know that book i think something related to summer uh the name of that girl was this summer something related to summer i am forgetting the name of that book uh but that is what is your uh, difference between your novel and novella okay is this clear now for everyone okay